I'm gonna show you how to unlock your phone. This will work for any Samsung Galaxy phone out there. So first go ahead and grab your phone and we're gonna get the IMA number of the phone. So we're gonna dial star hash zero six hash. And as you will see, the 15 digit IMA number will appear in your screen. So this is very, very important, guys. We're gonna use this number to generate the unlock code to unlock this phone, okay? So keep it somewhere close. Now we're gonna switch to a computer. So let's open the email and you will see that it says short instructions on how to enter this unlock code. Uh, it says that the code is ready, but the most important part is the actual unlock code. So this right here is what we're gonna use to unlock this phone. Now keep in mind that this code, this exact same code will not work for your phone because it only works for one specific phone based on your IMEI number. So anyways, I'm gonna show you how to enter this unlock code. It's super simple. So I'm gonna switch cameras back to the phone. We'll see the screen requesting the network unlock code. So we're gonna go ahead and insert this unlock code here. Make sure it is 100% correct. And then you're gonna hit where it says unlock. Perfect, SIM network unlock successful. That means that the code was accepted and now we have a fully factory unlocked phone. Now your phone is gonna restart. It's gonna take a few seconds. So once your phone is on, you should get full signal of your new carrier. All right guys, so that's how you unlock a phone. I hope this video helped you unlock your phone. If you have any questions, let me know in the comment section down below. I'll try to answer all of your questions. I always read your comments. Make sure you subscribe, like this video, give it a thumbs up, and thank you for watching. See you in the next one. Take care. Hello YouTube, I am Zachy Beast, and I'm so sorry for the long wait guys. I finally got the time to make a new video and I finally managed to root my Galaxy A5 2017 running Nougat. So today I'm going to show you guys how to root. So firstly, I, what I'm going to show you is that I'm going, I am running 7.0 Nougat on my phone. Alright, and as you guys see here, I am running 7.0. Alright, and now I'm going to show you that I am rooted. So I'm just gonna click on the root checker here. Right, A520F 7.0 Nougat. Verify root. And yep, I am rooted on my A520 Nougat 7.0. So guys, please take note that I am going, only going to show you the steps. I am not gonna reroute my phone. So now what you need to do is to enable developer options. Just go to settings. Go to about phone software information and tap on build number like 10 times or so so and now you are a developer so go to developer options and enable OEM unlock go down to USB debugging and enable it as well all right so this is what you guys are will be needing for now and let me show you guys what you guys will need to download on your computer for the next step. Alright, so guys, what you all be needing now is of course the uh, custom recovery itself. You guys will be needing Super SU, which is the version 2.82, and of course Smart Switch. Okay, now what I want you to do is to do a full backup on your phone using Smart Switch because you will be needing to install the stock 7.0 firmware so everything on your phone will be lost so now of course you will need uh, Odin I have the 3.11 version here but older or newer versions will work of course and yes the 7.0 firmware itself all the links for these will be in the description below so do check them out and then Preferably download them and put them all in a folder. For mine, I just call it A5 7.0. So now go to Smart Switch and I want you to plug in your phone. So if you guys have watched my previous video on how to update 7.0, you guys have already seen the steps for a Smart Switch that are really straightforward and easy. So from here, all you gotta do is click on Backup and confirm it on your phone and you will be on your way. Alright, so once done, once you have done with the uh, backup, close it up and you guys want to go to Odin, open Odin. And now, unplug your phone from your computer because you need to switch off your phone and put it into download mode.
All right, so you guys just want to switch off your phone. Okay, so once it's off, what you need to do is to press on the three button, home button, power button and volume down button at the same time simultaneously till you are inside the download mode. So once done, press the volume up once to continue. Alright, so now you are in download mode. Next step, you guys want to plug your phone back into your computer and ensure that you see the edit on Odin. Alright, mine's in blue. So the next thing is you want to go to the first one, the BL on the top and navigate to the folder where you have downloaded and saved the 7.0 stock firmware. You guys want to search it. Yep, for mine, uh, A5 7.0, 7.0 folder. Just click on the BL. Ensure it's the, the exact one. Wait for it to load. All right, and next is AP, same thing. Click on AP, open, search for AP. Open. All right, guys, so please do not panic. As you know, after AP, your audio will show you that it is not responding. So what you want to do is just be patient and do not unplug your phone. It took me roughly about 10 minutes for it to load. So I'm gonna speed up the video here. All right, once done, you guys want to do the same for the rest. Okay, for CSC guys, what I want you to do is to ignore the home CSC and just click on the CSC and open. Okay, once all of the files are loaded to Odin, you guys want to go to the uh, options tab and ensure that F reset time is checked and auto reboot is unchecked. And once you guys have done that, just click on start. Okay, so once all the files are loaded to Odin, you guys have clicked start, unplug your phone, and you, you guys just need to press down the same three button, the power, home, and volume down till the screen turns black. Okay, once done, you guys just want to press the power button to power up the phone. Alright, so now on your phone will be the fresh new stock 7.0 firmware and just continue with the setup just like how you do when you get a new phone and I'll see you then. Alright, so once you have set up your phone, uh, what you need to do next is to enable the developer options again. Same thing, go to settings, about phone, go to the uh, software information, build on the tab on the build number several times and yeah so go back to the developer option same thing and the OEM unlock give me one second here and next you want to go to the USB debugging and enable it as well okay guys next thing is to plug your phone back into your computer and first thing you want to do is to copy SuperSU so that you won't forget you guys want to uh, copy the Super SU to both your phone and SD card. So both storages, phone and SD card, in case something crops up or in case you can't find. So that's the best way, just put on both. Alright, so now I would suggest and recommend you to do your restore from Smart Switch to get back your previous home screen and apps because after. Uh, we are done with the uh, installing of TWRP the custom recovery you guys won't be needing uh, your computer so I suggest that you guys just do a full restore okay once done all right unplug your phone because you need to switch off your phone you need to put it back to the uh, download mode again so you guys want to switch off your phone as per normal here And once it's done, 
Same thing guys, the three buttons, power button, home and volume down button. Alright, so now you guys just want to press the volume up button. Alright, once done, just go back to Odin. Open up Odin. And re-plug your phone back into your computer. Ensure that it has been added to Odin. And just go to AP. And navigate to the TWRP, the file, custom recovery file. Open that and once loaded, go to the options tab. Same thing, enable F reset time and uncheck auto reboot. And you can now click on start. Once done, unplug your phone and same three buttons guys. Uh, till it turns black, power button, home button and the volume down button. Once done, you guys want to let go of the volume down button and hold down on the volume up button while still holding down the power and home button. Alright, let go of the volume down, click on the volume up. Okay, once all that is done, you'll be greeted with the custom recovery and just swipe to allow modifications. Okay, now that you are in this page, what you want to do next is click on install and search for the super SU folder that you have copied from your computer. It's that simple, just install it, do not clear cache or anything, just install it and reboot it as per normal because you are on fresh stock firmware. Alright guys, so once you have rebooted your phone, the next thing and the final thing you need to do is go to Play Store and install Root Checker. So Root Checker just to see if you guys are rooted properly install this app and click on open okay guys once uh, you have installed it and opened the app for the first time usually it will ask you for root access just grant it and voila you are rooted so thank you guys for watching and please help your fellow YouTuber by subscribing, also by spamming the like button, comment down any suggestions for the next video and maybe you'll be featured on my next video. Peace out guys, thank you so much.